All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Luke, I'm on TV. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a little Raiden 5 on the PlayStation 4 today. And as I mentioned before in my top 10 favorite Xbox 360 games video, uh, I am a really big fan of the Raiden series. I've played pretty much all the Raiden games and I own most of them also. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the options menu real quick. I kind of cheat, I like to add all these uh, bomb stocks. I always just max out on those. <laughs> and one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick too is, um, you can see I got the voice volume turned all the way down. Um, whatever reason in this game, uh, there is no arcade mode. You can see this right here. There is no standard arcade mode. They give you a story mode. And what's really annoying is that when you start playing through the game, you got these characters off to the side of the screen, and they're constantly talking throughout the whole fucking game. You're, you're, you're trying to play your game, and they're constantly like having conversations and shit, and it's really annoying. And it's like, who the hell came up with this idea? You know what I mean? Nobody plays these games for a fucking story mode. It's an arcade game. It's a shoot 'em up game or a shmup game. You know what I mean? It's it's not designed to be a fucking story, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is just so it's just it's just it's really fucking annoying. I don't know who came up with that idea, but they should be shot, I swear. And right now you'd be hearing all this dialogue, they'd be reading this whole thing, and you have to sit through that too. But I digress. At least they still brought this game over to the States. It was previously an exclusive title for the Xbox One in Japan. But thankfully UFO did bring it to the States for the PS4. So at least I get to play the game. But I am hoping that in like some kind of a future update they'll give us a standard arcade mode. And by the way, I'm not particularly great at a lot of these shoot 'em up games or shmup games. Uh, so I, when I do this video, I'm not doing it to try and show off any kind of skill at all. I, I just wanted to show you guys this video because uh, I'm a really big fan of the Raiden series and I just enjoy playing these games. And to be honest, I'm not real uh, impressed with these graphics either. Uh, it, it is kind of a, a step down from Raiden 4 on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Uh, the standard Raiden 4 game was only on the Xbox 360, but there was an upgrade version that was called Raiden 4 Overkill. It was a standalone digital download for Xbox 360 and the PS3. Um, it basically just added a couple new stages to the standard Raiden 4 game. Uh, but anyway, the graphics here are just not nearly as impressive. And you can't stretch the screen either, which is really weird. And um, I want to show you something real quick too. If you go to the pause menu, you can't change the screen, you can't change the audio, you can't change anything once you're in the middle of the game. So that's really fucking stupid. They changed quite a bit with this game compared to previous titles. It still feels much like a Raiden game, but they change a few things and not for the better. But I digress, you know, I still just enjoy playing the game. But really, I think these graphics are more comparable to uh, Raiden 3 on the PS2 than they are to Raiden 4. And if you look off to the side on the on the right on the right side of the screen, you can see all this fucking dialogue going on with the two characters and everything. And it's like, who the hell is reading that shit? You know, you can't you, you can't fucking sit there and read all that dialogue while you're playing the game. And again, you'd be normally you'd be hearing these characters talk. They'd be reading all the text on the screen. I really don't understand what they were trying to do with this game. And then look at this zoomed in sh or the zoomed out shot too. I mean, I don't like that either. Really makes the game look very poor. Uh, the controls are kind of sluggish as well. Uh, 
right now I'm trying to um, navigate my ship back and forth to the left and to the right. And uh, it's very slow to respond. I don't know if it's maybe just this ship compared to some of the other ships in this game, but it almost feels like there's lag in this game. First boss isn't pretty tough at all. Especially when I just load up on the fucking bombs. <laughs> Sound effects aren't very good either. I mean, this is. It's a pretty disappointing title, to be honest with you. That's my honest opinion. This kind of feels like a half-hearted effort. Uh, what are some of your favorite shoot 'em up games, though? Um, just go ahead and leave a comment in the space below. Uh, some of my favorite games are Ikaruga, um, and also the Radiant Silver Gun HD remake for Xbox 360. I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, I never did get to play the original game on the Sega Saturn. Uh, that was an exclusive in Japan, never made its way to the States. Um, so I never got to play the original on the Saturn, but I really liked the HD remake on the Xbox 360. I thought it looked really nice as far as graphics went. Um, I also really liked Galactic Attack on the Sega Saturn. Um, that was one that I did get to play that was released in the United States. Um, really enjoyed that game. I thought it looked pretty good and uh, had some solid gameplay, high replay value. Um, I also like Gunnack on the NES as well. Uh, if you've never played that before, that was kind of a late entry to the NES lifespan. Uh, kind of came late in its life. Um, the graphics are really impressive though. It actually would pass for like a Sega Genesis game. It actually looks really nice. And uh, again, I really liked the gameplay on that one too. Had really good sound effects even. But yeah, I think Raiden Project for me is right up there uh, on the PS1. That basically just had arcade ports of Raiden 1 and 2. Played the shit out of Raiden Project. And Raiden 3 was good on the PS2 also, you know. Uh, stage design on this game isn't impressive either. I mean, again, you gotta remember, this is a PlayStation 4 game. I mean, come on. I mean, they can do a lot better than this. It really does look like a PS2 game, or maybe even PS1, but I, it, the graphics are definitely more comparable to Raiden 3 than Raiden 4. I mean, look at this zoomed out shot. I mean, the graphics, look, they look just piss poor in my opinion. No bombs. Ugh. I don't know how many continues have I have I used. I don't know. I used just one or two. I don't know how many. I usually try to keep it to just three. When they have the unlimited continues, I just try to keep it to three continues. Oh, fuck. Well. Alright, well, I'm just gonna use one more anyway.
this section of the game, I think it looks pretty good. It feels more like Raiden, like, especially like Raiden 4. This should have been the opening stage in my opinion. See him there. <laughs> All right, boss battle. I don't have any bombs left. I'm fucked. Yeah, this guy's pretty challenging. R-Type series as well. Fuck. How am I supposed to get past? I mean, that's crazy. Unless you have bombs. and I can just hang out. Oh, I was going to say I can just hang out to the side and shoot my homing missiles. But... Oh, he blew me up. <laughs> well, that figures, huh? Well, like I said, I'm not real great at these games. I'm really not. But I just, I do enjoy playing a lot of them. They're just, they're just fun to play. Good, good simple, mindless shooting action. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you have, uh, please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.